hello everyone welcome to the new video so there were uh, two question asked that how uh, cert manager works and uh, you know what is what are what is sla in devops so these questions were asked by nivedita and ria so yeah uh, let's go and discuss question is how cert manager works and how it helps in creating ssl certificate and attach them in kubernetes so basically why so SSL, TLS certificates are needed, why they are needed to be attached to the Kubernetes and what is cert manager that we need to understand. So SSL and TLS certificates are the digital certificates which works on HTTPS protocol which ensures that whatever we are browsing that is safe. It is digitally uh, sign and certify it that the uh, that whatever we are searching it is following the uh, policies and regulations and our data is not used in a wrong way so that is uh, the certification the whenever the certification is attached your uh, you know whatever you are browsing that is uh, secured there is a layer of secure uh, what you say layer of security attached uh, which we can see it through certificates so basically whenever this is a layer of security between a browser and the client that we are not misusing their data and they, and our data is not misused by them that is why the certificate is issued and attached whenever we are browsing any data so there is a layer of security which is provided cert manager helps in issuing the certificates renewing the certificates in kubernetes so whenever we are installing cert manager in kubernetes we it will run as a pod in our kubernetes cluster so basically this a uh, cert, cert manager will run it at as a pod and it will help in maintaining or you can say in uh, you know uh, uh, issuing and uh, renewals uh, everything of certificates uh, and whatever resources are attached to those certificates so basically the resource which is uh, communicating with outside world that is being exposed at HTTPS and HTTP layer protocol uh, that needs a certificate. So we, we generally assign it to ingress uh, resource. So how it works, how, it, how we uh, configure it that we list it down. So first of all, uh, there should be a cert manager installed in our kubernetes cluster then uh, 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 that cert manager uses issuer or cluster issuer like who will issue the certificates for our resources it can be like let's encrypt hashicorp wall like or internal say who is issuing the certificate then once an issuer is set up you can define certificate resource that specify the required certificates for your services like what all uh, resources on which you are uh, uh, you know uh, desiring the uh, certificate like domain name dns name secret name those things should not be misused so uh, what is certificate creation process so cert manager checks the issuer to figure out how to obtain the certificate then cert manager then requests the certificate and automatically handle the challenge and obtain the certificate from ca once the certificate is obtained cert manager stores it in kubernetes secret resource which is then used by kubernetes workloads like ingress controller or other services so cert manager also automatically manages the renewal of certificates so when a certificate is nearing expiration cert manager will trigger a renewal process to request a new certificate okay two steps to create attached ssl certificate is what install cert manager that we can do using helm 
so for that uh, we have to you know uh, create the namespace first of all then we have to uh, use helm commands first of all repo update helm repo update then install then after installing uh, these uh, cert manager we have to create an issuer or the cluster issuer who will issue the certificates so that we are using using uh, that we are doing using yaml uh, file uh, manifest file so api version cert manager kind issuer who is issuing let's encrypt at what email server that will um, you know use then create a certificate resource so whatever we uh, define a certificate resource that defines specifies the domain and other details about the ssl tls uh, certificate you want to create so uh, so basically like the secret name we have to define where the kubernetes secret because every certificate has a key so that key private key needs to be stored so we have to define the secret where that key has can be stored so dns names are specify the domain name the certificate should cover then attach the certificates to an ingress or whatever service you want to attach this certificate to so for that uh, we you know that we have to define tls host then the secret name we can attach the certificate to it the tls blog references a secret that contains the ssl tls certificate and the private key which is automatically created by the cert manager so uh, automatic renewal so that we understood that cert manager will handle the automatic new renewal of certificate it will periodically check if the certificate is approaching its expiration will initiate a renewal process automatically that is why cert manager is preferred and it is required so key benefits are automatic ssl management integrates with let's encrypt and other cas uh, certificate authorities then seamless kubernetes inter in, uh, integration secure certificate storage so i hope this uh, clears the uh, doubt in the uh, in this question and uh, uh, regarding there was one more question that can you please explain what are slas in devops so slas are basically the service level agreement that we do with the customer whenever they uh, buy any product or you know from us so in how much time we will able to deliver that that has to be signed in 24 hours or in half a day so whenever the initiator requests they sh they should get their uh, uh, application up and running in 24 hours so that is an sla that is been uh, this is just an example that i'm giving they can be uh, you know uh, they can be different slas for different works so basically this is the agreement that we do uh, to with the customers when we are giving them some type of services so yeah it it is like that whenever we are giving any type of services or any project uh, that we are doing so slas are signed that in how many days this that project will be completed so i hope it is un uh, understood so yeah that's all so that's all for today's video. I hope it's helpful. Please let me know your views in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye.